It's time for the Matt LeCroy Show on Fox Sports 1460. Brought to you by the Holiday Inn Middletown. Now with today's show, here's Terry Byram. Well, Matt, last night, Phillips Valdez, we've talked about him before, and he's had some up and downs. And you mentioned yesterday during the show that he had a really good bullpen, and he goes out last night, and easily his best start with you guys. Uh, no doubt about it. He he took what uh, him and Chris worked on in his bullpen session before that start and carried it over in the game. And, uh, you know, he had a little traffic early, but he settled in, had a lot of weak contact, got some uh, double play balls, and, and uh, he – Kept getting confidence, uh, was growing every time out. So uh, hopefully he'll build on that. I mean, he's a guy who's got a good arm. If he throws it over, they don't seem to hit it that well. Well, and even the contact early in the game wasn't necessarily – an infield single off of his glove to start the first inning, and then the run scored on a big bouncer over the head of Drew Ward at third base. Yeah, I mean, they uh, you know, they put some balls in play on him. Nothing hit really hard. Uh, but I was more impressed with the fact he didn't walk anybody. Uh, considering his last few starts, he's walked a lot of people. So I th- hopefully he'll gain uh, some trust in what he's doing out there and, and uh, finish out strong. Uh, I just mentioned Drew Ward, and Perry and I talked about this on the air last night, but we heard so much about his offense. There was so much talk about the capabilities of what he can do, but I'll tell you what, he has solidified third base out on the field. Yeah, he's, did a, he's done a nice job. I mean, he's made most of all the plays. Uh, He's kind of learning where to be at on the field at times here. You know, more guys uh, try to bunt. Uh, yeah, you do a lot more shifting here. So, uh, But he's getting more and more comfortable. I think offensively, uh, he's kind of in between right now, but uh, he's going to work hard with Ruppy to get things going. But I like where he's at. He, he runs the bases well, uh, plays well, plays a lot of good defense, and hopefully he'll get his offense going. Last night off the bench, Sean Pleffner, who has just been on fire the last 45 games or so, comes up in a, in a pinch hit double into the alleyway last night, gets all the way to the fence. We were talking about it uh, earlier today that last year that might be a ball that he doesn't hit quite that hard, but everything he's hitting now is just off the bat hard. Yeah, he's starting to, uh, I mean, he's had really good at bats. Um, you know, I'd like to get him and Keys there in the lineup more, uh, but right now my hands are a little tied, but. Uh, He's been a big spot here the last few weeks coming off the bench, having really good at bats. Uh, when he does start, he's really done a nice job driving a baseball and, and getting on base and forcing some uh, pressure on the defense. But uh, he's got a good short stroke, and it kind of plays off the bench. Uh, it gives him, it'll give him an advantage here in this series against Richmond. But uh, he's been a big, big uh, lift for our club. Hopefully he can continue to do well. More changes. Uh, Boone Whiting is back today off the disabled list after being hit in the right leg with a line drive in Altoona. And then the Nationals have signed uh, former Reading uh, Philly, uh, Justin DeFratis, who has also been in the big leagues, been in AAA most recently, should help solidify your bullpen. I think so. I mean, uh, you know, we had a stretch there where our bullpen got taxed, uh, and then we had some guys get claimed and designated. So, He'll pick up some of those innings. Hopefully we'll get him uh, on the mound either tonight or tomorrow and, and uh, see how he looks and see what we got uh, to look forward to going forward. Uh, uh, but he's got big league experience. And uh, right now in a, we're in a big spot here and where we're, we're playing for something pretty good. Hopefully he can help us. And then again, Boone Whiting coming off. Uh, he's had a bullpen since he's been hurt. And, uh, you know, after watching last night, what would you expect out of him tonight? Well, I think he's he says he's full go. Uh, you know, he's going to have to mix uh, the ball in and out on these guys. they got a whole, pretty much a whole new group here. They're young. They're a little bit more athletic than they were earlier in the season. They put the ball in place. So uh, hopefully he can mix it up well enough to keep them off balance. But, uh, you know, I, I think uh, hopefully he can go six or seven minutes. 